what's up y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey girl hey if you're not new here hey girl hey it's well queen i'm so excited about this video it's a little bit different like i told y'all in my last video if you paid attention i said we're gonna be switching some stuff up i'm gonna be bringing y'all a lot more gems and kind of just giving y'all stuff that y'all can really use and take on and put it to work so as you read by that title today we're gonna be talking about how you can make some more money online like let's show you for real it's 2023 we not trying to work no nine to five not knocking the people that do okay not saying that congratulations to you so happy that you got a job they were trying to make money at the house okay we're trying to stay at home i don't know about you but i'm trying to be at the house okay i'm trying to be outside i'm trying to be traveling i'm not trying to be strapped to no desk okay i want you to also have an opportunity to take your job anywhere with you in the world be able to actually make money while traveling like who don't want to make money while traveling i mean i'll wait i'll wait so in today's video y'all we're going to be talking about 10 not one not two not three but 10 different steps that you have to take in order to start your own social media management business if you've ever thought about managing someone else's social media account or even if you're trying to find a way to manage your own social media account this video is for you sis this video is for you so i'm going to be teaching y'all how to social media management business i'm actually in a of starting my own business up so i'm like you know what as i'm finding out this information why not just share it with you why not just go ahead and give y'all the gems so you don't have to do as much research as i'm doing girl i'm trying to help you not have to waste your time looking at stuff i've already done the dirty work okay i'm still doing the dirty work okay so this video i'm gonna be walking y'all through how y'all can make money as a social media manager and basically how you can really go ahead and get the ball rolling babe let's go ahead and get this ball rolling if you are new to this channel please make sure you hit that red subscribe button turn it gray okay hit the bell so you can get every single notification that i drop because i will be dropping videos back to back to back to back to back you do not want to miss out on video on these videos okay you want to make sure that you are taking your notes go ahead and grab you a pen grab you a notebook sis i got this one from walmart okay no promo but grab you a notebook a pen grab you something to drink sis a little popcorn if you need to and let's go ahead and get to business because it's time for you to start taking control over your finances in 2023 it's time for us to all show these old heads that you literally can make money at home you don't have to work a traditional job in order to be rich babe how to become a social media manager right that is the biggest question of this whole video how the hell can i become a social media manager in less than three weeks okay how can i do this first of all i want you to stop i want you to make sure that this is something that you truly want to do i don't want you to do it just because it can make you a bag because it can make you a bag babe it can make you a bag but i don't want you to do it just for the money right because it's going to be like a job you do not want it to be a job you want this to be something that you love so if you are interested in actually managing social media if you like being online if you like to see people's instagram pages and the pictures that they post if you're into you know scheduling and actually creating content and all of that stuff then this is a perfect career for you if not then sis this is probably not for you and that's okay babe it's okay if it's not for you there's other things that you can do out here other than managing social media but i don't want you to think that this is a get rich quick scheme because it's gonna take work okay because depending on what packages you offer and all that stuff i'm gonna walk you out through some of my stuff as well probably in the next video but i'm gonna kind of show y'all what i'm doing as a social media manager myself especially like a newer one and how i'm building my presence online and you know showcasing my products and all that stuff, my packages and all of that. But basically, you want to make sure that this is something that you love to do. And let's go ahead and move into step two. Step two, you're gonna pick, people say, they call it your niche, right? So you're gonna pick who you want to serve. What type of business, what type of individual do you want to do work for? Who do you want to create content for? Who can you see um, yourself working for in the long haul? So for me, with my niche i really want to do um i love small businesses so i definitely would want to work with small business owners and realtors those are my two niches right kind of like where i would cater my content to so when you're posting online the people that you want to serve who you're whoever is in your niche you want to make sure that you're creating content that is for who you're trying to attract if that makes sense so since i want to work with realtors and i want to work with small business owners when i'm creating content i'm not 
not going to be creating content that can help influencers and YouTubers. I'm going to make sure that my content is tailored to small business owners and realtors, right? So who do you want to serve? Pick that niche. Who, who can you see yourself truly working for? A lot of people choose small business owners. A lot of people choose influencers. And you'll pick that niche. And once you have the niche, now we can go into actually picking a name, right? So to me, this is super important because what is your brand going to be called? You want it to be something unique, something that's tailored to, something that you love. So for me, I chose the Queen Social Co, right? So the Queen Social Company, but I just say the Queen Social Co. And it's a social media management business. Um, and that literally, whatever you choose that brand name to be, you need to make sure that it's the same across all platforms. You do not want it to be hard to find you. We're gonna get into that in a little bit, but your branding is super important. So what you wanna do is to pick this name. I'm gonna kinda give y'all a little, a little drizzle, okay? To pick this name, you want to make sure that one, the name is not already took. So something that I do um, is I go on Google, I will type in the name that I really want to use. So like the Queen Social Co. I will go on Google, type that in, see if it pops up. If it's registered, it should pop up. If not, there's other ways that you can also find out. You can go on GoDaddy.com. Um, they have a search engine there that you could use in order to kind of see if a name is took. You can also go to, um, like if you're trying to see if it's took for your state, you can go to your Secretary of State and do a business um, registration search or whatever and see if it pops up. You'll put like basically put in the name of that business and if it's already registered to someone, it will pop up, right? So you know that you cannot use it. Um, as far as domains go, it's kind of easy for you to find out that way too because they'll be like, oh, this domain is already taken. So it's a lot of ways that you can really figure out, okay, if this name is available to me because it has to be available if you're going to use it. Please do not use someone else's name. It does not look good, first of all, and then second, you can get sued for using someone else's branding. So come in with your own unique name. Like I said, mine is the Queen Social Co. And it's not spelled Q-U-E-E-N. It is K-W-E-N, okay? So the Queen Social Co. is my business. Um, and then the way that I came up with that, like I said, I just kind of, I wanted something unique, but I also wanted something that I feel like would look luxury. That's me. Like, I'm the type of person, I want like a luxury feel to my brain. I wanted it to be something that when people say it, it's like, oh, that's really cute. Like the Queen Social Co. It's really cute, but it's also very catchy. It's not hard to say. It's not a long spelling. It's not going to be hard to search. And that was my biggest thing. You do not want a super long name. You want to make sure that your name is very easy and searchable. You do not want it to be hard to find, y'all, because then ain't nobody going to know that you exist. It's because who the hell going to be going and searching a long ass name? I'm not typing in a name that's longer than my own name. Like, come on now, it's not happening. So moving on, okay? Next, you want to build your social media presence. Pause, okay, pause. This is super important in order to do any type of business, not just social media management, but any type of business, you need to build your social media presence. It is 2023, everybody is online. There's not, I mean, even grandmothers have Facebook accounts at this point. You get what I'm saying? You need to have some type of online presence to reach a bigger audience, right? So let me just tell you, it's important for you to have this online presence because let's just say, you know what I'm saying, you're trying to reach um, you're trying to reach all the small business owners. Realistically, it's not gonna be too many small business owners within your area that truly need your services. But if you're online, you could literally be working for somebody in Africa. You could be working for somebody in Canada. You get what I'm saying? So that's why it's super important to have that online um, presence, right? So, <clears throat> When I said online presence, what I did was, was started my business. The first thing that I created for my brand after my logo, y'all, it's thundering. But the first thing that I created for my brand after my logo was an Instagram page and a TikTok page. It is super important to have these things because you really want people to be able to find you, right? And I made sure that my ad name was the same on my TikTok and on my Instagram. And today I'm actually gonna be creating a Facebook account and a Twitter account. You want people to be able to find you so I created an Instagram page that's where all of my content that I create will go that's how I'm gonna be reaching people right 
TikTok. I'm posting videos and what I'm doing on my TikTok is actually doing a progress type of thing. So I'm showing how far I've gotten so far with my business, telling them my experience, telling them some apps that I've used so far in my journey because you never know. It could be another aspiring social media manager that comes across your page. They like it and now it pushes it to more people, right? So building your social media presence is super important. No ifs, ands, what's, buts about it. You need to make sure you're creating an Instagram account, a Facebook account, a Twitter account, and a um, TikTok account all under the same at name. So for me, it's going to be Queen Social Co. Right? I took off the the the. I just put Queen Social Co. At Queen Social Co. On Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, you name it. You get what I'm saying? So Queen Social Co. Period. Keep it very simple. Um, and make sure that you are literally when I say building up your presence. This means that you need to be consistent with the way that you post, okay? I tend to post three to four times a day just because my brand is still new and I'm trying to get pushed out more. The more that you're you're posting, the more people will see, right? So, and what I also do is I switch up my hashtags each post. I do not use the same hashtags back to back to back to back. Yes, I do use the same hashtags, but I mix them up. And one post may have hashtag social media management first and then the next one may be hashtag social media manager first. So just basically switching it up but staying in the same niche, right? So I can still reach those people. Um, but yes, definitely make sure that you're creating those social media accounts, posting on those social media accounts. People always say be consistent. Be consistent on your social media. Be consistent on your social media. Be consistent on your social media accounts. It is super important because without you, if you post once a month, nobody is gonna see that post. And if they do see it, they're gonna forget you before you post again. Because don't nobody, I'm not gonna, I'm the type of person, I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but let's just say, even this includes YouTube or anything. If I come to your, um, like say if I see you like something and I come to your page, if I see that it is October 2022, but you haven't posted since January of 2021 or January 2019, I'm not following you. And the, the point of that is I'm not going to follow somebody who's not consistent because what is the point of me following you if you're going to be a ghost anyway? You get what I'm saying? You're not going to be seen on my timeline. So why would I add you to my following? If that makes sense. So you want to make sure you're being consistent. That way people want to follow you. A lot of the comments that I've gotten is, Oh my gosh, I see that you're working so hard. I love your commitment. I love your content. I'm going to be following you. That's the type of energy that you want. You want people to be talking good about you. You want people to be like, damn, I see she's working her ass off. I see she's trying to build up her brand. Let me go ahead and follow her. So make sure you're being consistent and building up your presence on social media. The next thing you want to do is build your portfolio. Y'all, I cannot stress how important a portfolio is. It is super important to make sure that you have a portfolio. You need to have something for somebody to look at if they're on your page. And when I say that, there should be a link in your bio at all times. Even if you're not ready to accept clients, you can put in your bio or even on your portfolio, currently not accepting clients, but here is a look at some of my past work. If you've never worked with any client, that is fine. This is what you could do. Go on to Canva. You're going to once, because mind you, you've already picked down the checklist. You've already picked who you want to serve. So, for example, I want to serve realtors and small business owners. So, if I go on to Canva, right, say I don't have a small business yet that wants to work with me. I don't have a realtor yet that wants to work with me. Fine. But I'm going to start creating that content that is tailored to those businesses and then I'm going to add that content to my portfolio. So say like you create an open house flyer for a realtor, right? You don't have a realtor, you don't have an address, but you can make up something, make it really cute, make it stand out, make it pop. Add that to your portfolio because that's now some type of work that you've done and somebody may want to hire you to create them an open house flyer. They may even say, hey, can I get that template? Can I actually use that exact template because it's really cute and I think it'll really do well on my page. Boom. Now you have something that someone can use. You want to make sure that you're creating something that can be actually um helpful to someone that you're you want to create something that's helpful to the niche 
that you are in. So creating flyers, um, creating business cards, creating just regular content, telling people why they should hire a social media manager. Um, this is the biggest tip that I can give anyone right now trying to start any business. Listen up, write this down. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Do not use your platform to sell a product. People do not buy products, they buy people, right? So, and I'm pretty sure you heard this before, everybody says it, and it's so true. So be yourself, don't post like right now on my social media for my um, social media management business. I'm not saying, hey, um, yeah, go ahead, click the link in my bio so you can, you know, pay $900 so I can be your social media manager or here's our, I don't even list my packages on my social media because of the simple fact I don't want you to see my packages, especially not right now. I just want you to see how helpful I can be to you, what value I can add to your business, what I feel like could help you grow as a as a brand on Instagram. How can I help you take your content up a notch? I'm posting different um, ideas. I'm posting different helpful tips and tricks that you could use in order to grow your social media accounts. So I'm doing those things but I'm not saying, hey, I have a package available for $1,300 $1, if you want to check this out because that time will come. People are going to reach out to you wanting to work with you. They're going to see the work that you're doing and they're going to be like, damn, like I really like her and I feel like she could help me take my brand to the next level. So do not post your packages right, up, uh, right off bat. You shouldn't even know what, what packages you want yet, honestly. We're going to get into that too because that's going to be something that I do post services that I offer on my portfolio, but no pricing. No pricing is on my portfolio because it's not about the pricing. I want them to be able to look at my portfolio, see my, my, my past work. I'm talking about if you've ever created a reel doing an unboxing, if you've ever done a TikTok showcasing you doing your makeup, anything that is all content that could be used by a brand. So if they see that, like, damn, she does unboxings really good, they could want you to be like, you know what? Hey, I need help creating unboxing content for my Instagram page. And now, boom, you have something else to add to your portfolio. So building up your portfolio is super important as a social media manager because you want to show proof that you know what the hell you're talking about. So basically, what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is do not try to sell. Don't try to be that, that salesman. Let your content do the selling for you. If your content is really bomb, if you're really putting that time and effort and energy into practicing and making that content amazing, it's going to sell itself. So do not try to sell that content. Let that content sell for you. Okay, period. Moving on, y'all. We're almost done. Let's go ahead and we're going to talk about creating Upwork accounts, Fiverr accounts, and stuff of that nature. So let's just say you have your portfolio built. You've already started building your Instagram and TikTok. You don't have to have a thousand followers. You can have three followers. But as long as you have content posting and you know that you're continuing to grow, like you're going to continue to post on that social media and you're ready, you feel like you're ready to actually take that step to find your first client. I'm going to give you a couple of tips that you could do in order to find your first client because girl, let's. Let's congratulate ourselves, babe. We have a whole social media management business out here in these streets to start making some money, okay? It's time for to start making that money, 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 okay? So, basically, what you can do is, one, you can create a Fiverr account, okay? With Fiverr, you will create posting or gigs on there and you will offer your services and allow Fiverr to then push out those services that you're offering. People can check out, they will pay you to work for them, you do the job and then boom, right? So with that, you could post like for a gig title, I will manage two of your social media accounts and then they have different packages that you could offer, basic, premium, plus whatever you want to call them. You'll pick the prices that you want for each, how many days it'll take you to complete. Um, and then like maybe like your basic, you'll be like, hey, I'm only um, gonna manage one social media account for you, post two to three times a week that type of thing but if for your plus maybe you'll manage four to five social media accounts you'll post 10 to 12 times a week that type of thing so it's really up to you and what you feel like you're capable of doing 
but Fiverr is one Upwork is another you can build your Upwork account I do have a Upwork social media account as well and that's how I am able to apply for different gigs that's out there you will literally go up there and submit your proposals and basically just let the jobs come to you um so yeah so Upwork Fiverr that type of thing last but not least another way that you can get money um and start getting your first your first client is reaching out to local businesses around you if you stay in a small town that maybe have like family ran businesses they probably don't have that big of a social media following they probably don't have that big of a social media presence so you can pitch to them and tell them hey i see that you may be lacking in this area my name is so and so my brand name is queen social co and i am here to help you take your brand to the next level here is three things that I would do differently if I was your social media manager in order to help you take your brand to the next level in 2023. And then boom, just jot down stuff. Email these companies. Go, if they don't email you back, if they don't answer the phone, go up there. Tell them, hey, I can come in and take pictures of the food. If you don't mind, I can come in the kitchen and catch some great um, content for your Instagram page. I can do this. I can make cool reels. I can make cool content for your um, Facebook page. Whatever the case may be, I can help you rebuild your website. Whatever you're good at, whatever your skills are, tell them that you can help them and then allow them to be like, you know what, yeah. Because so many people sleep on these companies, but that's how they get their biggest deals. So don't sleep on those small companies. Those small companies in your neighborhood, in your city, that don't have a social media presence. I'm not talking about McDonald's. I'm not talking about uh, Domino's or Pizza Hut. They have a, na a nationwide business. I'm talking about something that may be just local. Go to them and ask them like, hey, how can I help you? I'm a social media manager. How can I help you? I can take the stress away from you. Because a lot of times they don't have that time and energy in order to run social media and also run their business. So you're now stepping in like, hey, I can do this for you. I see it's not done. I can do this for you. Let me take that load off your hands. And if they don't want to pay you off that, be like, let me just come in and work one week and show you what I can do. And then we can move on from there. Boom. Now you got your first client. So that's it. That's all, y'all. Those are 10 easy steps that you can really take in order to kickstart your social media journey, social media management journey. This is not all of the steps in the world, but these are just the things that I am currently doing in order to build my brand. And I hope that I'm able to see y'all's brands too. If you already have a name for your brand, please drop it down in the comments below. If you've already created an Instagram account, drop it down in the comments below. I will follow your brand. I will follow your business. And if you need any help, please do not hesitate to email me at queensocialco at outlook.com because I am here to help you grow and succeed in the social media management journey. And girl, let's go get this money.